we are never not creating right we are we are creative beings right we, we're, we always create uh new hair follicles we're always creating new skin we're always creating new, new nails you know our entire being is a creative being right something is always being created and i and i feel in the same way um in life and through us living even the, the things that we do here on earth like we are all creative beings we we are all creatives how do we find our creative spark what can we do to not only unlock our creativity but uh, discover and develop it. I think it's not only important for us to discover ourselves and like why we're here, but discover but discover what we can do, right? And that's a part of our creativity. What is innately unique to me uh, and the skill sets that I have in order for me to express what it is that I'm trying to express and give to the world. All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the new episode of the Miles Hype Podcast. This is Miles Jr. Um, as always, the vision and goal of this podcast is to entertain, educate, and elevate you miles high above your fears, your doubts, and any limitations that you may think exist, always knowing that those limitations only exist in your mind. All right? Uh, so for today, for today's pod, for today's topic, I want to talk about uh, creativity and developing and unlocking your creativity. Um, I truly believe that, you know, we all are creative people. You know, we are, we as human beings, we, we, we are never not creating, right? We are, we are creative beings, right? We, we're, we always create uh, new hair follicles. Um, we're always creating new skin. We're always creating new, new nails. Uh, you know our entire being is a creative being right something is always being created and i and i feel in the same way um in life and through us living um even the, the things that we do here on earth like we are all creative beings we we are all creatives you know i think we just need to redefine what creativity is um because a lot of a lot of the times we confuse creativity with like being skillful or being talented, right? So usually we, we think of like an artist, uh, a painter, or a writer, or a, a singer. You know, we, we think of them as creatives. You know, we are an architect, um, a, uh, a designer, you know, uh, people that are good with bringing things from... Uh, obscurity into reality right and, and making it allowing it to be appreciated by by the masses we think of those individuals as creative or as yeah as creatives um, but I think uh, creativity goes way deeper than that and I think all of us uh, are innately creative creatures and we just need to tap into our creativity as individuals and I hopefully you know I can share with you some points on how to do just that. You know, I, uh, I always thought of myself, I never used to think of myself as a creative, right? Because I, and, you know, I can't draw. You know, my, my dad would be able to sit down and draw like the most masterfulest piece of art in like seconds, right? And it, it'll start off like just on some lines on some paper uh, not making any sense and like when he finishes it like it's not even as you watch him draw it it wouldn't have been something that you would have expected right but at the end of it once he's done you take a step back and look at it it's like man this this is this is this is crazy right so I always thought of him as someone who was creative I was always musically inclined right so I knew I had some creative uh, genes in me um, but like you know being an artist and that type of creativity being able to create things make things with my hands and stuff I, you know, I wasn't creative in that aspect. So I always, I never thought of myself as being a create a, a creative. And as I grew and just learned a bit more, um, not just of myself, but just about life in, in general, I started to realize that like, like all of us are creative. All of us are able to create something. Um, and that's our, 
unique ability when it comes to our creativity, right? Um, so in defining uh, creativity, it's simply the ability to generate new and valuable ideas, right? So any, any, any new idea or innovation that we could come up with that is useful not only to ourselves but to others you know that's where create that's where creativity is spawned from um there are types different types of of creatives right like i was talking about just now there are artists so you have your your writers your, your painters uh your musicians your singers you know you have your your scientific creatives and those are your innovators and, and problem solver solvers and then you have your uh, everyday creators, right? And those are usually people who find unique solutions to uh, everyday problems. And I think all of us fit into one of those categories um, because like I said, each of us are able to create um, and have been creating all of our lives. Um, so how do we find our creative spark? What can we do to not only unlock our creativity, but uh, discover and develop it. Um, I think everything starts with knowing yourself, right? So it's always good to to do uh, some self assessments, right? So identify our personal create uh, creativity. And you know, I've mentioned on this part before, there are a lot of self assessment tests that we can do. You know, it's these tests that you answer a few questions, and it it tells you about yourself, right? It gives you your your strengths and weaknesses. It tells you how you make decisions, how you problem solve. You know, there are a number of tests that, that you can take um, that can answer different aspects of your, your personal your makeup, right? And you, could, you can self-assess and become self-aware of what it is that you're, you're able to do, what it is that you're unable to do, the things that you're, you're weak at, things that you may need to work on. Um, but having that self-assessment and knowing who and, and how you are and what you can do and, you know, answering those five questions that we've, we've talked about quite a bit, um, that allows you to uh, really identify what it is that you're creative at or what is your creative spark. Um, and then you can create a creative environment. Now, <laughs> there, are, there are different types of creative environment, right? I am a... I am a I like to call myself a neat freak, as the best that I could be. I, I, I'm, I'm a clutter-free type of individual. Um, my wife, on the other hand, my wife is very inspirational with different objects being around, or what I would call being good out one, of... Good one, good <laughs> one. <laughs> what I would call being out of place, right? So she puts these inspirational objects... <laughs> around the room <laughs> around the room that i may call clutter right but you know it, it it sparks her uh her creativity um so just creating a creative environment uh i i think is key you know i i'm i'm a i'm a i'm a visual learner and a visual thinker right i, I love to see and feel and touch things um I guess it's more than visual, but for me, it's like the sense of, of sight. Like I, I love to, I learn things by seeing, um, and I'm inspired by what I can see and what, what I can experience. So my environment has to be something that's, uh, that's visually inspirational to me. Right. So I, I, I love, I love, uh, I guess colors, you know, I, I love textures. I love, um, uh, just a, a modern looking environment is is inspiring to me right and uh, something that's again like i said clutter free clutter free for me uh is key i need i need i need a clean space for me to uh work my creative juices um so for the you know you, you i think t the best way to do that is to uh designate a, a dedicated uh, creative space you know whether that's in your home or your office or wherever it is that you frequent, right? That the, you, we, we could all develop a space, and it doesn't have to be an entire room, right? It can just be a section of a room where you're dedicating to. Okay, this is where I come to try and spark my creativity, right? And usually, uh, some some additives that we can put in those spaces are natural light. Uh, we could put some plants. We can add some colors. We can put you know some things that 
personally inspire us, whether that's pictures, images, uh, uh, shapes, structures, sculpt, sculpt, sculptures, uh, anything that that we can use to to inspire us um, and to spark our creativity. Uh, you know, I think that's the most in, important thing: creating a creative environment. Um, for me, I I love uh, the sound of like whether it's music, whether it's um, the TV on uh, playing something very low it doesn't have to be loud. Uh, I I need like some activity going on. Some sometimes when I um, need to spark my uh, my creative juices. Um, and then another thing you can do is just incorporate play, right? Just become playful, become witty, become uh, involved in intentionally creating those creative spaces, right? Because incorporating play, it, it reduces stress, um, encourages free thinking, you know, so it allows you to just relax and free your mind, right? And go to the, the deepest parts of your creative uh, creative aspect of your mind your creative thoughts and you know just be as ima imaginative as possible um so th those are you know certain th certain ways certain things we can do to uh spark our our creativity right to, to find that that creative spark that is in each and every one of us um and then how we can boost our creativity and th these are things that i like to do is uh bring we could have brainstorming sessions and then we could have a, a time of mindfulness and meditation. Um, brainstorming sessions work for me. I, I love to sit with not only my problems, right, or like things that I, that, I, that I may have issues with or trying to figure out how, how I can resolve, but also just think of, of some things, even with plans that I have, right, some ideas that I have. Man, how this is an idea. I feel like it's a good idea. Um, let's let's break this idea down. Let, let me try to expand it, spin it around, uh, flip it over, and you know, try to dissect this idea in every which way possible, right? And I brainstorm every all, a bunch of scenarios, a bunch of things I can do, uh, and I set time out to do that, right? I, I you know a lot of the times that's me sitting down with with nothing on, like so during these brainstorming sessions. Usually nothing is is audible to me, um, and I'm just sitting and I'm thinking. Right? I may I may be looking at some inspirational uh, books, articles, pictures, like whatever it is I'm trying to brainstorm about. I'm 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 engulfing myself in the idea or in the aspect of what it is I'm I'm trying to think of, and uh, usually a lot of uh, new ideas, a lot of maybe innovative ideas, you know, ideas that already exist, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of spinning them that to, to help me or, uh, in a way that's more adaptive to me. Um, and I'm trying to apply them to the plans or, or to the goals that I'm, I'm putting in place. Um, so brainstorming sessions are always good. And then you have, you know, like I said, mindfulness and meditation. It's always good to meditate. My time of meditation, you know, I call it my prayer time. You know, I, I take time out and I, I just have a conversation with God. And I'm, I'm like, look, God, these are the ideas that I have. These are the plans that I have. I give them to you, like provide me with inspiration, provide me with uh, some ideas or some ways that I can get these, these plans executed. Um, and I'm intentional about that, right? I, I set time aside and, and it doesn't have to be like this time where like you're covered in ashes and a cloth and you, you know you light some candles and you're sitting there and you're rocking back and forth like no i you know i could be in the car i could be walking from from the building to some you know one building to the next uh, i could be sitting down just in, in in my at my desk and you know i would just sit back and be like all right time to have a conversation time to petition you know my 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 spiritual guide and just express myself, right? And just ask for guidance, ask for an understanding of what it is that I am doing or that I need to do. Um, and, you know, I, a lot of the times, like there are some, something creative that comes out. Uh, usually, you know, so even when I'm planning for my pods and trying to figure out, okay, wh what, what is it that I want to talk about? What is, it, what is it that I want to share? You know, once I have those brainstorming sessions or I, I have that, that time aside to have conversations with God, 
there's something that there's always something that that is sparked in my mind that I can elaborate on and, and research and you know dig deep into to come up with uh, something uh, come up with an answer to these questions that I have. Um, so those are ways that I try to boost my creativity, and I think you know we all can do the same to 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 boost it. Let's say something. Um, and then you know as creatives, we all go through creative blocks. Uh, something that I think is normal, something that that's inevitable. Uh, it happens usually, you know, when we're fearful of something, when we're unmotivated, you know, when we're, you know, sick of just m the monotony of of doing things. Um, and we need to get out of this out of this block, out of this rut that that we're in. So how do we overcome creative blocks? Uh, and a number of things we can do is, you know, simply take breaks, uh, change our routines. Uh, do unrelated activities, you know, and just do something that isn't related to the things that you're trying to solve or the plans that you're trying to accomplish. Um, and then be kind to yourself, right? Give yourself a chance just to relax and recover um, from the work that you've been doing. You know, for me, um, a lot of the times when I travel is when I am inspired the most. I I love putting myself in new environments, um, uh even if, it, if it's, even if it's an environment that I've been to before, so it isn't new, but it isn't, uh, you know, an environment that I would see on a weekly or monthly basis, right? So traveling to me really helps my creativity, right? I'm able to observe and, and see things that, you know, how it works in a different country or a different industry or, you know, amongst uh, some friends that I may have. And it, it helps me to look at things from a different perspective, and I think that that helps my creativity, right? Seeing another, a different perspective, seeing another way uh, that something can be done or another idea for, you know, something that I'm trying to do. Um, and that's usually how I'm able to to overcome my creative blocks. Um, so, you know, all of us are creatives. You know, I, I think it's not only important for us to discover ourselves and like why we're here. But discover, but discover what we can do, right? And that's a part of our creativity. Um, what is innately unique to me uh, and the skill sets that I have in order for me to express what it is that I'm trying to express and give to the world. Um, and I think that is the, is the foundation or the basis of our creativity. Um, so I encourage you to, to, to tap into your creativity uh, develop it, you know, and just try to c continue working on it and expand it and just become an expert in the creative space that, that you uh, that you live in. All right. So the milestone for today that I want to leave with you uh, is a quote by Maya Angelou. And it says, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. You know, I I said at the top of this part, like we're always creating. We are we are creative beings, so our create our creativity is endless, right? So you you're never gonna run out of creativity. Uh, so, so the more creative you are, the more creativity that you use, the more that you're gonna have, and the, the more that you're going to be capable of doing because your creativity never ends. So let's continue uh, to be creative. All right. So that brings us to the end of this pod, uh, short and sweet, uh, but good nonetheless. Hope, hopefully, uh, I sparked your creative juices with, with what you've heard, um, and I challenge you to tap into your creativity as individuals. All right, as always, the vision and goal of this podcast is to entertain, educate, and elevate you miles high above your fears, your doubts, and any limitations that you may think exist always knowing that those limitations only exist in your mind. All right, until next time, you guys stay blessed.